this is Jeff with ML Solar, and today I'm going to teach you how to correctly test a solar cell for do your cell make a solar panel. What you want to do, you'll notice that today we're sitting outside, and it's uh, Northern California, uh, middle of February. It's a sunny, clear day, and this is the kind of conditions you need to be have to test your solar cells. What you're not going to be able to do is test them in your kitchen with your underwatt light bulb and expect to get any kind of so, what I've done in, um, is I have my ammeter here, actually it's a multimeter here. I actually strung together four solar cells. And especially when you're testing current, you, wanna, you want to string together a few solar cells because there's actually a internal impedance in your meter. And with just one solar cell, it's only 0.5 volts, it's very difficult to get an accurate reading on your meter because it has to overcome the internal impedance. Okay, that's a long thing. but. So what I've done is I've strung together four solar cells. The specification on these solar cells is 0.5 volts each. And because they're in series, series strong, that should give me 3.6 amps. So they're 1.8 watt cells, 3.6 amps total. All right, so another important thing, you can see on my meter here, if you can see it, when you're testing current, you have the current probe in the current slot and the black probes in the common. And hopefully you can read my reading. So anyway. What I'm going to do is, um, I guess I should back up. One other thing to keep in mind, the blue side is the uh, negative side of the solar cell, and the gray side or the back side is actually the positive side. So I'm going to take my red probe and touch the back side of the cell, and we're going to watch the meter here. And, okay, I'm getting four, you know, four amps DC. 3.7 is jumping around because I, I didn't have a good contact here. Okay, so let's see try to get a good contact here. So 3.0 amps, and that's because I have somebody standing shadow of my, there we go, 3.9 amps, 4 amps, without any shading. Can you see the meter now? Okay, 3.9 amps, and the spec is, um, is 3.6 as I mentioned. Let's check the voltage really quick. So for voltage, I have to remove my probe, the positive probe, and put it back into my volt setting. And I was on DC amps, I'm gonna turn it to, DC volts, 20 volts, and let's see, we should get at least um, 2 volts, and we're getting 2.26, okay, 2.26 volts, so it's over, certainly over spec. So that's how we test solar cells, again, you want direct sunlight, we're in midday, I tell you, when I did come out this morning, about 9 o'clock this morning, and tested these, and I was getting only about less than 2 amps, and then I came out of like, like 10.30 or something, I was getting up closer to 3, and now we're, it's actually about one o'clock in the afternoon, we're well over full, full current. So the amount of sunlight certainly matters. Um, stay outside, not inside, and try to string together at least you know, three or four cells before you do your current testing. Okay, again, this is Jeff with ML Solar, and uh, good luck. Thank you. All right, so, I'm down. All right, sorry. So the other thing now, I'm going to have you just test me with this guy. This just needs to be popped, or it won't pop up. No, that would be popping it up. It needs to be popped up more, you think? I don't know. I can just do this. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So yeah, that's better. For this one, I'm going to have you test. I need to shoot video with this because I'm just going to email this to this.